The world of boxing is in a frenzy. The greatest heavyweight boxer of all time has decided to come back and put his gloves on to prove to the world that he's still the baddest man on the planet. His opponent, the YouTuber turned boxer Jake Paul, is making waves in the boxing community. Jake Paul has faced former MMA fighters like Nate Diaz. Oh, left hook is down. Left hook is Nate Diaz to the canvas. And Anderson Silva. What you oh. Now it is Mike Tyson's turn. Probably the greatest challenge Jake ever faced inside that squared circle. But Jake isn't fighting prime Mike. Instead, he is facing 57-year-old Mike Tyson, which made a lot of people and the biggest names in the fighting industry skeptical about this fight, including the former two-division UFC champion, the notorious Conor McGregor. And Jake Paul fight. Oh jeez, I don't. It's, it's a bit, it's a bit strange. You know, the, is my interest. I've not. I, the interest is a low one. I don't know. I don't really. It, it, I don't understand it. Another former UFC champion, Michael Bisping, was confused about why this fight was made and why Mike Tyson accepted it. This is a joke. Respect to Mike Tyson. Okay, one of the greatest heavyweights ever. But he probably wants to get back in there because old habits die hard because he is a real fighter. He's made from that kind of DNA. Well, it may be true. Mike Tyson just wanted to fight. It's in his blood. Even Francis Ngannou, who was recently knocked out in his boxing match against Anthony Joshua, was confused about whether the fight was real or not. Yeah, exactly. So, I don't know. It's, uh, he hits me like a, like a shock. It, it was just like, what, maybe one hour earlier that I saw that, I'm like, so I'm so processing. <laughs> well, it's not just these MMA fighters. Many were absolutely confused about this fight. Even the owner of the UFC, Dana White, shared his thoughts about this fight. He gets mad when I do this, but Mike 60, man, I, I don't know. Uh, maybe a 31 year age difference during that fight, just, you know. You know, you guys know what I think of that stuff. He's right. With a 30-year age difference between these two, it just did not make sense for them to make this fight. But of course, you know how money works. Even Netflix recognized the potential of this fight and decided to stream it on their platform on July 20th. Many were actually hyped about this fight, and popular sports analyst Stephen A. Smith shared his thoughts about whether he's convinced about the hype of this fight or not. I wish I could. I hope that I'm convinced to do so. But at this moment, because this is a fluid situation, it's fluid, I reserve the right to change my mind, but I have to confess to you, I can't buy the hype at this particular moment in time. Stephen A. even invited the former UFC heavyweight champion Daniel Cormier too, and gave a piece of his mind about this fight. And spoilers, he believes it is absolute BS. I'm gonna tell you something, man. I love that Mike gonna make his money. You got Jake Paul who just fought some dude last weekend, and we watched Mike last year walk into a UFC event, walking on a cane, Stephen A. He walked in with a cane, Stephen A. And now you gonna fight Jake Paul? What are we doing? It's actually hard to buy into the hype. Jake Paul is in his prime, if he has any. He's 27 years old. Mike was 57 and fought his last match four years ago in an exhibition match against Roy Jones Jr., which was a great exhibition match. By the way, there was still power on those punches, but you could see that the tank was almost empty. In a podcast, Jake Paul's brother, Logan Paul, along with YouTuber KSI, explained why it was a lose-lose situation for Jake Paul after he took this fight against Iron Mike. I just think it's sad, bro. I think it's super sad. I don't know why Jake took it. It's a lose-lose. Yeah. Mike Tyson is 57 years old. Yeah. Like, yes, in his prime, this would have been crazy. But imagine I, he gets knocked out by Mike Tyson. That, that would suck. Well, yeah, but, <laughs> that would suck. Ha, ha, okay, okay, so that's any... where it's a lose-lose. Yeah. But no matter what people say, the fight is done. It is signed. And Mike will make millions of dollars for an eight-round fight. And for Jake, he will have a chance to fight his idol inside a boxing ring. But of course, he needs to sell the fight. And that's what he did in his latest YouTube video and mocked Mike Tyson. So glad to have the honor to step in the ring with one of the most brutal, most vicious, and most ruthless champions there's ever been. That's my style, style is impetuous. My defense, defense is impregnable. He wants to rip your heart out. I want to eat his children. But on July 20th, I promise you, 
I'll come out victorious. Just after the announcement, the training footage of Mike Tyson spread to the internet like wildfire as he was seen knocking his trainer out and was jacked as hell. Jake Paul looked scared when he saw the footage. He looked like he was trembling with fear. Babe, but what if he knocks you out? Ooh. <laughs> um, <laughs> he sounds nervous. Just look away. <laughs> No, like, that that will not be good, babe. No, just look away. With Mike moving like this at 57 years old, can he keep up with a much younger opponent like Jake Paul? Well, many people have predicted how this fight would go. NBA player and Clippers forward Paul George explained why people need to stop sleeping on Mike Tyson winning against a much younger boxer like Jake. He's fighting a boxer. I don't care how old. Mike ain't scared to get hit. Even the boxing sensation Ryan Garcia predicted this when he heard about the fight. Yeah, dude, just try to fight Tyson. If he knocks you out, but at least you fought Tyson. That's cool. How much of his power do you think he lost? You think it's still Mike Tyson? I think in there? like that's the last thing to go. The eighth division world boxing champion Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao revealed who he got on July twentieth. <laughs> they're gonna fight that. Huh? Yeah, they're gonna fight. Do you think Jake Paul can beat Mike Tyson? I don't think so. <laughs> the pro boxers seem to back Mike Tyson, despite being 57 years old. Some even say that he only needs one punch to knock Jake Paul out. Who can blame them? Mike Tyson used to terrorize the entire heavyweight division of boxing. He's a man to be reckoned with. Plus, that experience inside the boxing ring is unmatchable. And if anyone knows better than that, it should be Mike Tyson's former trainer and coach, Teddy Atlas. In his podcast, he explained why the Mike Tyson fight would be a very dangerous battle for the young Jake Paul. He's fighting a legendary, iconic fighter. Yeah, he's 58 years old. Yeah, the end of his career wasn't too good. One of the last things that go with a fighter is his power. I, Interesting. I think he might be making a mistake. Some in the boxing community had that respect for Jake Paul for having the vision to pursue his boxing career despite starting as a YouTube influencer. Well, former UFC fighter Chael Sonnen said that this would be elderly abuse and it was going to be completely one-sided. They would not book him again. They wow. labeled him like an elderly abuser. Oh How dare God. you? How He'll get teased for taking this fight, for one. He'll get teased for that. He'll work work himself through that. But uh, yeah, if he goes out there and cleans his clock, they're going to come down on him. Basketball legend Shaquille O'Neal also thinks that Father Time would absolutely catch up to Mike, and he might go short against a young fighter like Jake. If he walks well, out like old well, Mike Tyson with the music so, and the so hood up, how old are you? you? We're on Both of you are forgetting two words. Father, time. Former boxing champion Oscar De La Hoya also thinks that this fight would be a very dangerous fight for Mike, that he will be putting himself at risk fighting at age 57. I'm just, I'm just concerned about you know, Tyson's legacy. That's it. I've never seen a 57-year-old fighter up in the ring. You know, against a strong guy, a strong bull like Jake Paul. So it's, I, I, I think it'll be, I don't think, I think it'll be sad for Tyson. Well, Mike Tyson himself shared what his initial thoughts were about the fight and what he thought of Jake Paul as a boxer. He has grown significantly as a boxer over the years, so it will be a lot of fun to see what the will and ambition of a kid can do with the experience and aptitude of a goat, Tyson said in a statement. It's a full circle moment that will be beyond thrilling to watch. As I started him on his boxing journey on the undercard of my fight with Roy Jones, and now, I plan to finish him. Social media went nuts right after the news broke, and many celebrities jumped in to express their comments about the fight. UFC lightweight contender Renato Moicano called the news absolutely disgusting and suggested that fight fans should riot. Jake Paul was, however, unfazed, as he is fulfilling his dreams of fighting one of the greatest of all time. He's the greatest heavyweight of all time, the most vicious KO artist ever, Paul tweeted after the bout was announced. But I'm younger, I'm faster, and I'm going to be working my ass off to get stronger. A member of my team sent me this video that Mike's coach put up two weeks ago and asked me if I'm sure that I want to do this. Yes, yes I do. Heavyweight. Well, it's true that no matter what the fighting community says, this will be the biggest match in boxing for a while. For a day, the spotlight would be on the sport of boxing, with Netflix bringing the fight to over 700 million subscribers worldwide. 
everybody will be curious to see who will win this match for the ages. But many were wondering, will this be an exhibition match? Well, for both fighters, they wanted this to be tallied in their pro boxing record, an eight-round pro boxing match. According to reporter Ariel Helwani, the Texas Commission is still deciding whether this would be a pro or exhibition match. But one thing's for certain, there would be no headgear involved but both fighters will be using bigger gloves, about 18 ounces. It is also rumored that both boxers agreed on a two-minute round, but that has not been decided yet. Well, regardless, we're in for a treat. Whether Mike will show his immense power at age 57, or Jake Paul will silence all the doubters, it will all come down to July 20th. So who do you have? The problem kid, Jake Paul, or the kid dynamite, Mike Tyson? Leave your comments down below.